Hi everyone, there he goes. That's my brother showing off on his bike, riding without holding the handle. Do you know how he does it? To balance a non-moving bike, you need to keep the center of gravity of the whole thing. That is the bike and you within the base, which is the wheel speeds. To do it, you need to move part of your body left or right. That is a hard thing to do. As the bike starts to move, it becomes easier. You can keep the center of gravity by moving towards it. Let's say you are falling to the right. That means your center of gravity is out of limit to the right. By steering your bike towards it, it gets back within the base area limit, thus stopping the center of Remember when you first learn how to, bike, how to ride a bike? It's easy when the bike starts to move, isn't it? Well, that is if you're holding the handle. How if you let go? That's when you'll depend on gyroscopic precession to turn the bike for you. While the front of the wheel is rotating, it has an angular momentum. With the wheel rotating forward, the angular momentum is created from the wheel axis acting to the left. If you tilt your body to the right, looking from behind, you are creating a torque clockwise. As a result, gyroscopic precession will steer the front wheel to the right. That is called that is clockwise as viewed from the top. This is the same bike that my brother used. So for demonstration, I'm going to use this small bike to turn this wheel backwards so the effect of precession could be reversed. This is a wheel that's turning this way, so it creates an angular momentum in this direction. And when you tilt it to the left, it creates torque over here. And then the wheel will precess this way, causing it to turn left. And when you tilt it to the right, you will turn right. These are examples of tools that have spinning parts. So it creates torque and precess. So you have to be careful when you're using them.